welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to another freezer prep video. So today we're going to do the style video that I normally show you guys are about three meals that we get prepped and put into the freezer in roughly an hour. This is my kind of freezer prep because I know if I plan out meals that are simple enough, ones that I can be kind of cooking at the same time or prepping at the same time, I can get it all finished and really it only took the time that my kids are taking a nap to get some meals made up and ready to go for the next week, the next month, whenever I plan to use them and pull them out of the freezer. There is something that's been on my to-do list lately and that is to learn how to incorporate wine into recipes to kind of bring an extra depth and flavor. I love ordering recipes like that at a restaurant where I know that it's been made with a wine involved. I feel like the flavor is just, ugh. So delicious. So the first recipe that we're gonna be making today, we are going to be adding in some white wine. But before we get too far into that, this video is sponsored by Bright Cellars. I mean, how much more perfect is this that I've been wanting to learn how to cook with wine? Before I show you the recipe that we're gonna be using today that incorporates wine, I wanna tell you a little bit more about Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a wine subscription company. They ship great wines to your doorstep based on your preferences. It's basically like a wine club and you get to try out a lot of new wines that you maybe wouldn't have pulled off the shelf. Bright Cellars matches you to wines from all over the world curated to your palate. You take their seven question non-wine snobby quiz so they can gather your taste preferences and deliver you wines you're guaranteed to love. They have amazing customer service and if there is a bottle that you don't care for in your box, they will replace it in your next box. With the holiday season here, this is a great way to have wines ready for your next gathering and you don't have to worry about going out in the store since it is shipped right to your door. I personally loved the amount of education that was on each card that showed me what I was drinking and a little bit of information about each wine. Check out the link in the description box to take the quiz, get started, and get 50% off your first six bottle box. Okay, so our first recipe we're gonna be doing is a pork tenderloin and I'm so excited to do this. So the wine I selected to use in the recipe is from Wellfleet and it's a dry white wine and in here you can see the notes and honestly this is so perfect because personally when I make pork, especially pulled pork, I really like to put in pineapple, even shredded pineapple or use pineapple juice. So the fact that this has pineapple notes in it is absolutely perfect and then we also have um, the pork tenderloin I've got some garlic cloves some salt some pepper some rosemary some chicken broth and some heavy whipping cream now the recipe if you follow the link below does call to make this on the stovetop and it's kind of a slow cook situation but because I am trying to get everything done in a quick manner today I'm actually going to pull out my pressure cooker and make it in there because I can make it in about half the time um, actually even less than half the time in there versus making it on the stovetop so if you want to make it that way you can definitely follow what I'm about to do but the original recipe is to make it um, on the stovetop First step I'm gonna do is put my pressure cooker on saute or else you would turn on your kettle, whatever you're going to be making this in. And then just get the pork loin nice and brown. We wanna get a little bit of dark color going on just to give it that outside um, taste and look and feel that it's been seared just a little bit. Okay, while that's searing over there, I'm going to work on doing some scalloped potatoes with ham. This is gonna be a really simple one. I'm going to half bake it now and then freeze it and then obviously when I pull it out of the freezer, let it thaw a little bit and bake it, um, then it will bake the rest of the way because this is a dish that does have to bake a long time just to get the potatoes cooked and everything like that. Another little replacement, she does use regular flour in the recipe. I am using gluten-free just for my husband. But other than that, this is a super simple recipe and I'm gonna be getting out my mandolin to slice these up so that they are the right thickness and they bake evenly.
right, so now this is going to be cooking for about one to two minutes in here um, until the alcohol actually cooks off of it. And then I'll be putting the pork tenderloin back in here to get it all cooked up. Okay, it's all ready to go. The alcohol has cooked off of it. So now I'm just going to place these back in here and um, they have the liquid they need and everything to be in the pressure cooker. I'm gonna try to fit them both in here. Then I'm gonna put the lid on and cook them on high manual for 15 minutes and then I will let them decompress for 15 minutes as well. The third meal that we're making is a cheesy broccoli chicken rice casserole and I'm really excited to make this because I haven't had it for years and it's something that my mom used to make. Um, so I've got the chicken here, I'm just gonna cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Then I will be putting it over here in my Dutch oven just to kind of cook up and get it ready to get the rice mixed in and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up right away. One of the ingredients that is in the rice casserole is a can of cream of chicken soup and I prefer not to use that just because um, there's a lot of preservatives in it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna actually make up a homemade version of a can of cream of chicken soup. So all it has is chicken broth, chicken bouillon, milk, some gluten-free flour, um, some garlic powder, salt and pepper. I will leave the link to the recipe below that I'm roughly going off of. Um, so I'm just gonna cook this all up. You wanna have all of your ingredients ready to go before you start doing this because you wanna whisk it almost the entire time that it's cooking.
Okay guys, that is everything for today's video. We actually ate the one uh, pork loin and it was incredible and then I froze the other one. So I think technically, depending on the size of your family, you could actually make that into two meals if you went ahead and did two like I did and um, everything was so delicious. I have to say that the broccoli chicken rice casserole was one of the best I've ever had of that style of casserole. It was so yummy, I tasted it. Had to have little tastes of everything today. And I'm so excited to continue to learn more about how to cook with wine and um, I just feel like it gives such a good flavor. That gravy was incredible, it was so, so good. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box do give Bright Sellers a try. I highly recommend them. And if you're new around here, I'd love it if you subscribed. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.